Hey everyone, it's Ryan Carter. Welcome back to another WordPress tutorial. This time we're looking at the front page, the home page of Tony's site here. There's Tony. Got a nice quote there. Looking pretty good. Um, this image right here with the house, it's a great picture. Look at that thing. That's awesome. It looks amazing. I love the texture on it, the color. It's great. It's a great photo. It really draws your eye to the site. It makes you go, wow, look at this. Okay, cool. This is a cool site. I want to read what's here, you know. It's a great picture. The problem is, if you're first time coming to this site, this picture loads really slowly. Now, just there I loaded the page, and it loaded really quickly. Why is that? It's because the picture is now cached. So the website knows that if you've seen this more than once, it's going to automatically load it from what it is previously loaded in the browser. I can prove that to you right now. Right click and go to inspect. And we can go to sources. And we can go in here and look at what are we loading. Let's go to WP content uploads here. And I would imagine it's this one. Yes. Look at okay, there you go. It's a 12 megabyte file. That's really, really huge. And does it tell us what the original dimensions are? Not really. Okay. But this is the problem. We have a 12 megabyte file and it's loading really, really slowly. If we go to network and if we click load again, we can actually see uh, if we just click on images here. Okay. So that image that we're loading, these here, it will actually tell us, let's see if we can size this over. Okay, so if you see a 304, that means not modified. That's usually because it has loaded it before and it's loading it again from the same place. So the picture is really small now, but when you have the full page open like this, let's close the inspector, it's really huge. And that's the problem with this photo is it's a great photo, but it's so big. It's literally like the size of my wall here at the house. If I would actually put it the size it actually is, it would fill up my whole wall. And the WordPress is actually smashing that down into this space so that it fits. But that's the problem is it has so much extra resolution, I assume because Tony is a great photographer, um, that it, it's so big that WordPress can deal with it, but it deals with it by making it load slowly. So because of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the home page here. So you would go to pages, all pages, and I clicked on home. And I'm going to launch the page builder here to show you what I mean and how we can fix this problem. So now we've got it loaded. Okay. So it's like a sidebar. I haven't really used this before, but I'll take a look. Okay, so row. Here's what we want. This is a row. These are all different rows. So you can build pages. It's actually kind of nice. That's some nice features. I haven't used this before. Um, but let's go to probably the settings. And let's see what we're dealing with here. So if we go down, I think it's, here we go. Background photo. Okay, so look at this thing. 4928 by 3059. That's a fantastic photo. It's great. Unfortunately, the web isn't playing nice with photos that are so big. The web just isn't great for that. Until we all get like really great internet, um, that's going to be a problem for us. So what we can do, though, is we can resize this photo in WordPress with no editor, no external editor or Photoshop or anything. We can do it right in WordPress. And we can make this image fit the full width of the page without loading slowly. It's, a, it's not super hard to do. I'll show you right now. We can go to edit. So this is full size. We go to edit. Okay, that's not the edit I was expecting. That's the edit to edit the photo that's in this page. That's fine. So we'll cancel out of here. We will cancel out of the page builder, go back. What we want to do is go to our media section and then go to library because that's where all of our photos that we've uploaded and used in the page builder are. And okay, here we go. On this side, you see this photo here that we're using. You can see that's the right one because it has the same dimensions. It's 12 megabytes like we saw in the inspector, and that is the name of it. So we're using the full size, if you remember on that page we were just looking at, the full size picture. And that's such a huge photo. It's great. It's really great, but it's so huge. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this little button in the very bottom corner right here, edit image. 
Oh, scary, scary, scary stuff. Now it's just showing us a preview. This isn't the full photo. I mean, it is the full, what the photo looks like, but it's smaller than it actually is in real life. What this is doing is it shows you here on the right side what the original dimensions are, and it will actually tell us what the dimensions are here. So we want to, we want to cut this down. Let's see if it does what we want. What I would do is make images on the web no bigger than about 2,000 pixels. And look at that. WordPress automatically scales it and puts in the other dimension. It knows how big this is, and it knows how you want to use it. So it's going to scale it down. Now we've cut out more than half of the resolution of this photo and it should be perfect still. It should look amazing still, but without the added expense of trying to download that big of a file on a terrible connection in a lot of cases for people. 2000 is what we want and 1241 is definitely tall enough. That'll actually be too big still, but on almost all monitors, it will still look good and it should scale fairly well without being pixelated. So let's hit scale. And the whirly gig thinky doohickey in the middle is worrying and it's thinking WordPress is trying so hard to make it work. Oh, oh no, the brain cells that it's using. All right, well, I thought it would be done by now, <laughs> but it's still going. It might take a minute or two because it's doing some pretty hard number crunching. Oh, there we go. Image saved. Now look, it's the same exact image. It's not any different, right? It's the same image we had before, but now the new dimensions are here. So it's saved it already. We're good. Now, here's something else you might want to know. Restore original image. You can click this and you can get back your original copy of the image because it saves it for you. So if you don't like this and you're not happy with how it cropped or how it worked here and scaled, keep using that word, not crop. Scale, 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 scale. Get it through your head, man. Um, so if you don't like the way it's scaled, you can actually restore the old image, which is great. If you need to, you should. But for now, I think we're good. So we're going to close this. So now this image here, if we click on it again, you'll see that the new dimensions are here. You can always go to edit and go change it back to the original if you want. But for now, it's a better size. Look at this. We've changed the image from being 12 megabytes to 600 kilobytes. That's a little bit hefty still, but that's way, way, way better. So we improved it by a factor of about 24, I believe. Anyway, not doing the math. It's too late for that. <laughs> but um, that's what we did. So now let's go see if that automatically updates in the, uh, the page here or not. Let's go see. Go to pages, all pages, and then we'll go to home and edit. Oh, I should just click to page builder. Okay, so page builder. We'll launch that puppy up. Okay, look, that loaded really quickly. Okay, so we'll close this. And if we go in here, let's go to row settings again on the photo. And we'll go down here. Now look, we've got options. It's trying to do like the thumbnail. We don't want that. We're going to full size again. So it changed it behind us and we want to save that. So it'll save the full size image again, but when we go to the website, it shouldn't look any different. It should be exactly the same except smaller in file size, not in actual dimensions because anything under 2000, you really won't notice. So let's hit done. Let's publish changes. Perfect. Okay. Now if we go to the website, this is the actual website and try to load it. It should load this as well. Now, the problem is this is loading a cached copy, so it's not going to load our new changes or we can't really tell if it will. So let's close that. Let's here's what we do. This is let's go back to the editor so we can tell the difference. Back here. OK, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to here and in Chrome, we can go to new incognito window. What incognito mode does is it actually allows you to load the website without cache so we can do it without the thing that would save that image and not let us see the newest one. So this will actually let us see just the brand newest one. I'm going to actually right click on here and copy the URL so we can use that. And I'm going to go to new incognito window. Here we go. So this is like private mode on some other browsers. That's what they call it. So we'll hit paste and then we will hit enter. It had the right photo though. Okay. See there that loaded a lot faster. Now okay, that's how fast it should load, but there you go. You see how fast that loaded now. That's actually how fast it'll be. And well, now see, it's taken a long time to load everything else.
So you see, this photo is still a problem. See how slow this is loading? But, okay, so look at this photo. Watch, that'll be loading. But look at this. Look at, there's no loss in detail. It's a great photo. It's still in great shape. It's a great, great photo. And it's still full screen, full full size. This one's still loading. So you can see the difference. That one loaded really quick. This one's loading really slow.